Hello everyone, welcome to the video on digitalized glycosides. In this video, I am going to explain about the medicinal chemistry aspects and pharmacology aspects of digitalized glycoside. Digitalized glycoside is a popular enotropic agent. It is a positive enotropic agent that means it increases cardiac contraction and increases cardiac output. Hence, it is used to treat congestive heart failure. We will see the details about this glycoside in this video. This is my YouTube video channel. If you like the video content, do subscribe and share. Let's get into the topic. So, the agents are known as positive enotropic medication. The job of these agents is they increase strength of heart muscle contraction, results in increased stroke volume and results in increased cardiac output. The major symptom of congestive heart failure is decrease in cardiac output. So, to increase that, these drugs are used. There are three classes which belongs to positive enotropic medication. Cardiac glycosides like digoxin, beta agonists like dobutamine and phosphodiesterase inhibitors like milrinone, enamrinone. All these are used to increase cardiac contraction. In this video, we will go to see about cardiac glycosides. Now, cardiac glycosides, the major source is digitalis purpurea. Let us see the sources in drugs. See, digitalis purpurea leaf, digitalis lanata leaf are the major sources of cardiac glycosides. You have a lot of other uh, sources by which gly cardiac glycosides are obtained. But the clinically used one are two major things, digitoxin and digoxin. These two are the major clinically used cardiac glycosides. So we need to, <coughs> excuse me, we need to remember the sources of these things. Leaves of digitalis purpurea and lanata are the sources for cardiac glycosides. Now, let us understand about digitoxin. See, glycosides are made up of a sugar moiety and a non-sugar moiety. Now, sugar moieties are known as glycones and non-sugar moieties are known as aglycones. So, in case of cardiac glycosides, the aglycone molecule is a steroid molecule. <clears throat> These are known as cardinolides. Cardinolides. To be specific, 5 beta cardinolides. So, when you see that from digitalis lanata, you get lanatoside A. There are three different glycosides that are lanatoside A, B, and C. Now, when you see about lanatoside A, it contains a cardinolide digitoxyzenin. Digitoxyzenin. Xenin indicates non sugar, egg glycone. This is what is digitoxyzenin, and the remaining part is sugar molecule. Now, see this, this entire part is sugar molecule. In that sugar molecule, there are four sugar uh, molecules are there digitoxose, 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 3 acetyl digitoxose, and glucose. So, this is, this is about lanatoside A. Now, partial hydrolysis of lanatoside A results in digitoxin. This is what is digitoxin is. Now look at them. The cardinolide is same. What is the difference? The 3 acetyl and the terminal beta D glucose are removed from here. So this is what partial hydrolysis results and that results in digitoxin. So partial hydrolysis of lanatoside A results in digitoxin. Now, let us say about digoxin, the same thing, you have a sugar part, non-sugar part is there, but the difference is there is an additional hydroxy group at 12th carbon. When you see the ring, see at here there is no hydroxy group in, in lanatoside A or digitoxin, but this is from lanatoside C, partial hydrolysis of lanatoside C results in digoxin. It contains a 12th hydroxy group. Now, the, the uh, the effect of this 12th hydroxy group is because of this polar group it cannot cross CNS so CNS related side effects will not be there so digoxin is more tolerable drug than digitoxin now the other things are very similar partial hydrolysis results in digoxin you have this cardinolide and the sugar parts are there again the same thing the 3 acetyl group and the terminal glucose is removed in partial hydrolysis now remember like this, see, digitoxin, the name itself says it is a toxin because it has got a lot of side effects are there. Digoxin, less side effects are there, this is what is much widely used. Now let us understand the mechanism of action of digitalis glycosides. See, usually what happens is the voltage sensitive calcium channel opens, calcium gets inside the cell and it increases the release of calcium from sarcoplasmic reticulum which causes cardiac contraction. 
So after causing this cardiac contraction, calcium is removed out of the cell by sodium calcium exchanger. The sodium calcium exchanger sends calcium outside and brings back sodium into the cell. Now whatever this excess sodium is there, they are removed by sodium potassium pump. So in fact these two are linked one. Sodium potassium pump and sodium calcium exchanger are, they work together. So whatever the excess calcium is there, it goes out of the cardiac cell and at the same time sodium gets inside the cell. This excess sodium is removed by sodium potassium pump. So this is how the normal cardiac muscle functions. Now when, when people use digoxin, it inhibits sodium potassium pump. When sodium potassium pump is inhibited, as I told you, this is linked with sodium calcium exchanger and the sodium calcium exchanger also inhibited. When this is inhibited, what happens? Calcium removal is reduced and free calcium availability is increased. And this is what increases cardiac output or it causes positive enotropic effect. So this is the direct action of digitalis on this cardiac muscle. There is an indirect effect is there. The indirect effect of uh, digitalis glycoside is it has vagal influences. It increases vagal firing. Increases vagal firing means it activates cholinergic system. Now cholinergic system actions on the heart is <coughs> to reduce heart rate. Now look wh what are the actions of digitalis glycoside is. At one side it is increasing cardiac output, at the other side it is reducing heart rate. Now what is the advantage of this? See when heart rate is reduced, oxygen demand is reduced, energy demand is reduced, but cardiac output is maintained because of this direct action. So with less available energy, more blood is pumped out of the heart and this is what is the advantageous feature of cardiac glycoside. So direct action is increasing cardiac output, indirect action is reducing heart rate. With less oxygen and less energy, more amount of blood is pumped out of the heart. So now this is the important features. So digoxin is most commonly used, not digitoxin. The source is digitalis purpurea and digitalis lanata, Fox low. Now it is used to treat atrial fibrillation flutter as well as congestive heart failure. Mechanism of action, sodium potassium pump or sodium potassium ATPase is inhibited and that is what inhibits sodium calcium exchanger and calcium levels increases inside the heart. Now the major side effect, unusual tiredness, fatigue, anxiety, hallucinations. Poisoning also occurs because digitalis, the therapeutic index is very low. Now, the visual disturbances, nausea, vomiting, arrhythmias, electrolyte imbalances in sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and it can be worsened by other medications too. So these are all the major side effects and toxic effects. <clears throat> because of low therapeutic in index, so to treat congestive heart failure, the first line drugs are ACE inhibitors and beta blockers. Now contraindications, in case of ventricular fibrillations, digitalis glycoside should not be used. Understand this thing, it can be used to treat atrial fibrillation and flutter. If ventricular fibrillations are there, it should not be used. Now the other major uh, effect of cardiac glycoside is cardiac arrest. Now what do you mean by this? See, because of its mechanism of action, it increases calcium levels. If high amount of calcium levels are increased, Heart will remain in systole. Systole means cardiac contraction. Heart should undergo diastole too. Relax. It has to get relaxed too. But increased levels of calcium keeps it in systole and that is what is called as cardiac arrest. It may cause death also. So to treat such kind of poisoning, antidote to overdose of digitalis glycoside is digoxin immune fab is used. It binds with digoxin molecule and forms a complex which cannot bind with the receptors and it is cleared by kidney. So this is what it is also known as brand name is dizzy bind. So this digoxin immune fab fraction antibody binding one is used to treat the poisoning of digitalis. So this is about digitalis glycosides. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, do subscribe and share.